Hey guys, welcome back. Now let's continue with our journey. And here, <coughs> what what we had done, we we brought Grafana, <coughs> which is good. And we also tried to bring up this Elastic Search. Okay, so see, let's let me search. The, okay, Elastic Search, and how we did that? We kind of ra ran this Elastic Search dot bat. And the moment once you have you ran it, you, you know that it had created the enrollment token username and password okay uh, obviously the username is elastic uh, if you if you have copied somewhere you remember this see here you go password for elastic user is this and you remember this enrollment is only for 30 minutes i think we would have exceeded 30 minutes by now uh, uh, obviously not you who are watching the user but i had taken a break and would have exceeded by now See, even though the health is green and things have started, there are a reason why I can't see anything here. See, the moment, the more, the more I'm trying to search something here, I'm not getting anything because it says it is up and running. Okay, it is says it's up and running, but still, it's yeah, it's it's it says up and running, but irrespective of what, I'm not able to. Uh, I was not able to get anything inside the. Elastic search with this particular port. I've just moved from HTTP to HTTPS and then it's asking for username and password. Now let's see that if I pass the username as elastic, elastic, and then the password as this. Okay. Oops, sorry. So, right, see, here, here you go. Um, not, not now, never. So you're able to get the information. Remember, the only the only thing that I've done is HTTPS instead of HTTP and you know why I did that here let's go back to this configuration oops not this one okay I am just opening again and again so here see this in the elastic search at the bottom panel of your screen the YAML configuration see this I'm saying that boss make it as true true it's like see SSL is set to true and that, that that's the reason you are forcing to go for an HTTPS. Okay, the moment if I make it as false, obviously this yes is not required. It will be wiped out, and then you can just deal with HTTP. So ideally, the right thing is that you have to say it as false. Uh, not ideally, since we are working in our local machine, right? It doesn't matter. So I'm saying this as false and this as false, both of them. Okay, and if we have to restart it. We'll we'll do that. Okay, so make sure that you set it to false. <coughs> Now here, the name, that's my computer name, the cluster name, the unique identifier, the version of it, and the yeah, rest of them doesn't make any sense at this moment. So you should get something like this. If you're not getting it, there's something totally wrong. Okay, now let me stop it, and you can stop it by Control C. Okay, Control C, and it should have stopped it. Okay, and now, since we have disabled this and made as false let's try to bring it up again okay we are trying to bring it up again and this time it should not redirect via https it should be http let's see this okay let it come up it should come up okay okay cluster health changes from red to green which means it's up and running which is nice and what else so this is the publish address this this is another ip address and this is my local address which has been bound to and what else so yeah i think that's it i guess so it's by the way it's also looking at the port 9 9300 so that's another topic we have to talk about it okay so let's go back here and this time https will not work it should be just plain HTTP. Uh, oops, I think I'm not sure why to. Okay, it's not taking HTTP. It's not going to HTTP. Okay, there you go. See, perfect. It worked. Okay, now HTTP is working, and this time, see, I have a problem. I'll tell you. This is the username. Okay, I have no issue with that. So elastic, and this is a username. You have to keep on repeating it again. So, but. If you want to reset the password, assuming that you want to reset the password and 
this guy has told it this these guys have explicitly informed you guys that please reset it go to the bin use this command and reset the password for the username elastic so we'll reset it so let's take this command let you have to copy this command and uh, let me stop it again you know how many times i have to stop it okay good so <coughs> let's stop it and i'm going to paste this oops now this one i'm going to paste this as it is okay and then it will definitely ask for reset with the password now why it's not happening the reason it's not happening is because remember the kibana is still not yet up and running not because of kibana i'm sorry the reason why it's not running is because we just stopped elastic search because this is a common thing lot of guys you lot of lot of us do that you stop the elastic search and try to reset the password it will never work first the elastic search should be up and running remember that always so you should this should be up and running only once this is up and running that's where you can go ahead and change the password okay so let's navigate to the path of that elastic search bin and then we'll execute the command see now i'm executing this command remember this do not forget it at any cost this elastic search should be up and running only after that you can just reset the password now you see it should ask for whether you want to continue for the password reset or not i'll say yes please do so and this is your new password this is new password let's test it out so see it's asking for the new password paste it <coughs> elastic there you go voila the new password okay uh, grafana is still up and running i don't know why at this moment it's there is no use of it but still uh, i think it's better that i just shut it down uh, poor guy it would be really feeling bad for itself okay so grafana is closed now let's go to uh, kibana okay look at the name man grafana kibana yeah okay now this is kibana.yaml okay what do we have here in the kibana.yaml configuration file so the server should run in the port 5061 okay uncomment it please uncomment it okay and then please uncomment this as well local host okay what else is there uh what else what else the certificates okay elastic search host so this is your elastic search host this is where you are now now you know that see this kibana thing it's pointing to elastic elastic search host which is running in 9200 so what do we understand so first elastic search should be up and running and after that we need to bring up kibana okay uh so that kibana is pointing to this guy so it's yeah just just re remember that and obviously here it is asking for username and password please uncomment this and provide here it's not gibana system y you you can actually so no this is a username sir this is a username and obviously you have to reset the password okay how do i do that i'll go back here to this guy again mm here and reset the password for gibana system okay reset the password for kibana system because anyways it's pointing to elastic remember since it's pointing to elastic i need to reset the password for kibana system see kibana is pointing to elastic remember that kibana is pointing to elastic so obviously whatever username that i have in kibana which is this i'm asking elastic search command to reset it because remember i am logging to kibana via this elastic okay so that's how it's kind of connected now take this password take this password okay and then apply over here that's it and then elastic searching ping time out request time out yeah, let's let's leave that as it is and this is the logs yeah this all should be fine okay now <coughs> kibana is done and let's go back to the command prompt which is bin control c and uh, let's head towards kibana and i'm going to start kibana dot bat okay
Kibana is currently running with legacy open SSL. That's okay. So we're bringing up the Kibana server right now. Let's see. Kibana is starting, which is good. Now this week, this will take some time. And remember, what is the port? The port is 5061. So let us keep it ready. Here, localhost port is 5061. So yeah, let, let's let's keep it ready for a moment. Okay. Uh, once this is up, we can log into Kibana server and see how how things are behaving here. Yeah? Uh, let's wait for some time. Thank you. Okay, guys, um, can you see this here? A lot of things are picking up here, and one thing I just missed here. Um, I was showing it to you guys. I think somewhere I just saw that Kibana has Kibana is starting and Kibana has started just let me show this to you guys um, somewhere I just saw it right now mm. yeah I think I just lost it lost the lost the eyesight so somewhere not, not, not lost the eyesight of this particular uh, view okay that's all it means I still am um, yeah but there you go see HTTP server running at this this is what I wanted to show okay so and there you go that's is what we are going to okay cool see it's already up now what is the username that you have to connect this is the username kibana system let's log into this and then the password okay uh you don't have permission to access the requested page Okay, login as a different user. Okay, let's log in with Elastic. Let's see this Elastic. And the password for Elastic is um, where is the password for Elastic? We just changed it, right? So let's see. Let's take the password for Elastic and take this and paste it over here. Let's see what happens. All right, there you go. See this? Now, what do we understand? What did we understand? What did we actually understand by now? So this was a deliberate moment of testing the negative scenario. Okay, remember this. Here, <coughs> the couple of things. One, first is that we installed Elastic Search. As of now, we still not have spoken the definition. And then we brought up Kibana. Okay, so we are actually trying to log in from here. Okay. Which means that the Kibana platform, which is this, we are trying to log in with Elastic user. Elastic user. That's what it means. So remember, if I just log out here, uh, just let me click on Explore on my own, and imagine I'll just log out here at this moment. Okay, so is it? Log out. And what was the default password here? You remember this? Is the default password for Kibana was pass remember this if i just take it and type it as pass yeah it doesn't work and if i take this password and try to access it it's saying that you don't have the requested permission to access the requested page which means the user is working it's only that that particular user doesn't have access but elastic on the other way around has access so what why does this happen what is the purpose of it we all are going to discuss sometime down the line. But now you know that this particular username and password is definitely not going to work it out. Okay. Even though despite it says elastic search username password not to be used for login. Okay. With that, we have looked at how to bring up Kibana, elastic search and other things. In the next video, we have to see a little bit on the log stash, how to log it. So log stash, there is nothing much on the configuration pipeline that we are going to talk about it. See here it's, um, yeah, there is, okay. There's nothing much that we have to discuss on this particular configuration. It's directly we need to point log stash and generate the logs in the, check the logs in the Kibana. So what did we understand? As I said, Kibana is a graphical page, GUI page, okay. Then you have ELK, ELK, and then you have log stash. So this ideally would be collecting the data 
this will be acting as an agent to point to this guy you would have known by now elastic search is already pointing to kibana so it is acting like an agent in a similar way if i bring up grafana means of kibana this ideally should act as an agent should act as an agent how see this um let me show you let me try to bring up grafana again i don't know why i closed it let me now i think it's there's some purpose here, here. okay so um cmd okay i'm going to go for bin and grafana grafana server okay dot exe okay so uh, what was the url for grafana guys i just forgot here it's uh, it's running on 3000 okay localhost 3000 let's log in. let's log into that okay localhost 3000 and here i've just logged in and in this um connections your yeah, data sources add a data source can you see this elk see elastic search see this elastic search an agent a data source again let's go back to this diagram so you have kibana Now you have Grafana. Okay. <coughs> Now there is an application that's running, and here you have a log stash, and here you have an agent ELK or Elasticsearch, an agent. Collect the data, route it through Kimana and Grafana, and this is where I'm saying Grafana, please add this data source, which internally will point to this only. Okay, and this will point to this particular application. So, in the next video, let's talk a little bit on the log stash and see how we can generate logs. And uh, yeah, I think that would be it for this tutorial. And see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and have a great learning. See ya.